efficiency beyond his years. And Purdue can counter with Jerome Johnson. Burn, how about 35 straight games in double figures? Nine of his last ten, he's averaged 23 points a game. He's been the most consistent and, in my mind, the most valuable player in the Big Ten. I think we'd rate this one uh, above average. Right now, let's go back to Greg in the studio. Guys, thank you, and let's take a look at the Big Ten standings. Ohio State is a tight with Purdue right behind. And Greg, now that the Buckeyes have a loss, do you see them as being more vulnerable than, than they might normally be? No, I really don't. This is a team that I think because of the overall versatility is going to be one that's going to be reckoned with come tournament time. And it's also not just because of the greatness of Jared Selinger. How about what Aaron Kraft, the other freshman, has done for this basketball team? Now, folks, as a point guard, he does not start. But when he comes in, he gives them a different dynamic, his ability to beat you off the dribble. He can also stretch it from beyond the arc. But what I love about this guy, Seth, he's a gamer. He plays his best when it matters most. One of the reasons why I like this Buckeye team to go far come tournament time. Yeah, I agree. And Purdue, of course, has some more guys. Yeah, Juwan Jackson, yeah. Juwan Bear, who've had terrific right. seasons. But the difference of Juwan Bear has been their junior point guard. Lewis Jackson, I happen to like him because he's 5'9", which means he and I really see eye to eye, which is unusual for me. Oh, yeah, but no, I know, I know. I don't 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 know. Kansas uh, coming back from that loss at, uh, to Kansas State. They won this game. Marquise Moore is a career high 26 points and 15 rebounds. Kansas was 11 for 22 from behind the arc. But guys, they were 12 for 21 from the foul line. They're 10th in the Big 12 in free throw percentage. That is a definite Achilles heel for them moving forward. Colorado just doesn't beat Kansas. Kansas has won 17 in a row against the Buffs. San Diego State against Air Force. Air Force early on was up at the half by one, but then the double double time. Sorry, how about Malcolm Thomas? His seventh of the year. 20 points and 13 rebounds, and then Kawhi Leonard here. Offense a rebound and the putback. He had 18 and 15. And what about next week? We're going to have you, you, San Diego State. Could be a matchup for team that ultimately gets the number one seed. San Diego mm. State has only lost one uh, game. They get, get a chance to avenge that next Saturday here on CBS. Meanwhile, BYU at TCU. And we're not going to start off with the Jimmer for Dead highlight. It's Steven Rogers making the three. BYU uh, pretty much uh, waltzed in this one. For Dead did have two.